Don't leave me hanging. It's go time. Hey everybody, this is Josh, and welcome to Game 2 in a very special Best of 7 series show match being played between Evil Geniuses in Control. He is the Red Protoss here on the left side spawn of Metalopolis. His opponent today, just like we saw in Game 1, is Root Druby, the pink Terran down here on the bottom spawn. So we do have close flying positions here on Metalopolis in this TVP matchup. We'll see who is able to actually win this game. So far, if you've been paying attention, and watched the first game like you're supposed to, you'll know that Druby is up one game to zero on In Control. They played that first map, Crossfire SE, which is a new GSL map for the next season. Both players told me before we started that neither of them actually had much familiarity with the map. Neither of them had played it more than one time ever. So uh, both players were just kind of feeling out the map still while playing that game. And really, I only suggest that they play it because... We haven't seen a lot of the new GSL maps yet, and I thought it would be nice to kick off the show match like that. I also told them when the loser picks a map, they can choose anything from the Blizzard map pool or the GSL map pool, and I told them that uh, maps can be repeated, just please don't play them back-to-back. -back. I hate seeing Metalopolis four games in a row, and I know that's not really great for a show match, so uh, we'll see what maps we end up getting here, but Metalopolis is the nice fallback choice for it in control. He did choose this one after losing that game on Crossfire. He's familiar with it. He's played it a million billion times on the ladder, so I'm sure he has something cooked up for Druby this time and around. And of course, Druby's played this map just as many times, if not more, or, you know, give or take a hundred games. I'm sure both of these guys have played so many that it doesn't even really matter. They've got them sort of uh, mapped out in their minds already. And In Control did scout the close positions first, then the cross positions, and now finally has arrived in Druby's actual base here down on the southern spawn and drops an assimilator very quickly. So doing a gas deal like we saw on Crossfire SE, gonna delay Druby a little bit, at least in any sort of tech path here, but Druby did do a two racks last game into an expand and just dropped even more racks after that, so we'll see if he has something similar uh, planned for this time around. He is getting a tech lab on that barracks, so th odds are looking good that he might try and get some reapers out once again. In control is getting a cybernetics core right on time there, nothing surprising about that. Dropping a second assimilator as well. Uh, going to see what he's going to do after the cybernetics core is completed. And the first Marauder is coming out for Druby. He's got Concussive Shells researching. He did that same thing there on Crossfire before switching into Mass Reapers. So I'm wondering if he's going to try that again as he slowly kills off this assimilator with a single SCV or if he's got another tech path in his mind already. In control, what you gonna do here? He's got a second gateway coming down. He's got pylons well placed here on the left side, or the right side rather, of his base so that he can just warp in down on this low ground and cut that travel distance by quite a lot if he goes to attack Druby. Druby already starting a little bit of an assault here, chasing away that probe from the Zelnaga Tower. And if you look at the minimap, you'll see a couple more pink dots coming along. What do we have exactly? Two SCVs and a Marauder coming to join the single Marine in control, keeping an eye on things, leaving his probe right here on the edge so he can see when uh, these Marines will arrive. Assimilator, we just heard <laughs> our base is under attack. It's just the gas steel slowly being whittled down by a single SCV. But uh, look at the production tab of barracks coming up for Druby, so he's not doing anything different just yet. SCVs up the ramp. Marauder and Marine at the bottom of the ramp. Great force field here by the sentry, obviously blocking out those two units. But the SCV of Druby did actually survive long enough to get a bunker started. And Control pulling seven probes right here and the single sentry. I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. Uh, Druby actually wedges all of his units here in between buildings to keep the surface area down from all these probes coming to attack, but as a result they are trapped, they are going to be finished off, and this last Marauder is all that Druby has left here in this base. The bunker is still building, but that SCV did go down as well to the probes and their little particle beams, so in control holds off that push. Druby actually had another Marauder rallied up here, and he is going to discover this very soon. He's going to try and get a little bit more of a sneak peek at in control's base but the probes do a nice little block there in control stopping that marauder dead in his tracks literally as you see the blood gush out of his neck uh this <laughs> bunker is going to be destroyed as well so in control holding off that little mini push there from druby has actually put up a pylon very close to druby's main as well and this assimilator is still surviving here finally druby does have some marines uh trying to attack it down and get it out of there for good a uh, factory is going up an engineering bay was already completed so a turret going up in kind of a strange place i'm not sure if he fears a stargate or 
or Dark Templar or something, but missile turrets are going up on both ends of his base. He's got a lot of Marines building right now, just Marines building, actually, out of these two barracks. Stim is about to finish up, and in control has been moving across the middle of the map here with five sentries, two zealots, a stalker, and a mix statue. He's also starting to warp in some stuff down here on the low ground, and obviously I was joking about the mix statue. Don't rip my head off. Uh, <laughs> he's starting to move up the ramp now, and Druby only has eight Marines here against an equal number of Protoss Tier 1 units out of those three gateways that in control has, and... He may, may or may not be able to hold this off. Lots of SCVs being pulled off the line. Force fields going down all over the place, trying to keep this army at bay, trying to keep the SCVs off of his units. A uh, couple of sentries still surviving here. Another round of warp brings in two more stalkers. This bunker will probably go down as those SCVs are not going to be able to get over there in time. So the bunker explodes. SCVs all pulled over here on the left side, and Druby just GG's after losing that bunker and the Marines inside. Army count was way in in control's favor, of course. 39 to 14. Only 11 harvesters they're alive for Druby at the end of that fight. And uh, look at units. I think he had one Marine. Yes, he had a single Marine there. Of course, he wasn't going to be able to battle all these Protoss forces by himself. So in control, evening up the score here. One game apiece. Druby says GG. Doesn't call out what map he wants, but we will find out in just a moment. Before we go to game three, I want to reiterate there is a mouse pad giveaway going on right now on my channel where both in control and Druby have signed some mouse pads and you guys have a chance to win them for your very own so go take a look at those videos and let's continue on into game three now <laughs> 